Hello, my name's Dawn McPhee from Dawn's Inspirations. I've had a couple of messages of requests to make these super cute little origami baskets. I made them on the Creative Expressions show on Hochanda TV and um, the rewind button wouldn't work for the show to watch it on playback on their website. So a couple of you have been in touch and asked, would I show how to make these baskets? So let's get started. So if you remember from the TV show, I've used a sheet of the 12 by 12 Scargan paper. This is double sided and this was from the Scargan accessory pack. So I'm going to use one sheet of that. You get five in the pack. So they're great. You can make five baskets straight away. And the first thing I'm going to do is to cut my 12 by 12 sheet down to an 11 by 11. Okay, so I'm going to trim that down and then do a quarter turn and then trim that down again. Okay, and don't throw these bits away because these are going to become your handle. Okay, so the shorter one of the two, I'm going to now trim down to half an inch. So just lay it in your trimmer very carefully and cut that down. Okay, so that's down now to half an inch. And then I'm just going to pop some glue or double sided tape. I can use some double sided tape on that to stick that in place. Let me just move my trimmer out of the way. piece of the tape down the centre of this and take that backing off and if you remember the adhesive bundle was also available on uh, the show so if you look at the Hochanda website under creative company you'll be able to find the products that you want so I'm going to do that on the green side and then put the contrasting colour there. This is where this basket is so economical to do. And you can use this basket for so many things. You know, it doesn't have to be Easter gifts. So, you no, know, this is an Easter basket, but it doesn't have to be. I'm just going to trim that little bit off. So that's our handle all ready to go. Okay, but let's now get started on the basket itself. So you've got your 11 by 11 paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold in half. And you'll notice that when I did this on the show as well, that you don't get any cracking with this paper. You know, no white cracks as we fold it. So this just shows the quality of the paper that you can get from the creative company. So I've done a square and now I'm going to go diagonally so just line up your points and I'm just smoothing this with my hands so this is a nice paper collection this scarf and it's nice and summery and bright and they're going to do exactly the same again so get your points together and smooth that down Okay, all right, and then the next thing I'm going to do is to bring these two pieces in so we get a diamond shape. So just bear with your folds while you do it. Okay, so that's one, and then I need to do the same with the other one. Just folding that in. Okay, so you've got that diamond shape now. So you've got your opening on this end. Okay, so now I want you to turn this opening towards you. And then get one, one side and line it up with your centre fold. So find your centre fold. It's a bit hard to see here on the camera. Okay, so just line that up with the centre fold. 
okay and then what I'm going to do is open this back out on itself so then this line is going to come flush with this line and then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side okay that's going to go onto there and then open this out again and put that line in line with this line and then just press those down okay so you've now got it looking like that I want you now to flip it right the way over and repeat that on the other side so find your centre line I've got the sun streaming through my craft room window here it's a beautiful day so uh, do bear with me with the filming because it can play up sometimes if it's too sunny and it's such a shame to say we don't want the sun here I've had enough of winter now so it's nice to see the sun so I'm doing that exactly the same on that side and then again on this side and then open that one out lining that up okay so you've got both the same on each side and now I want you to fold one side over and fold the other side over so now we've got the two plain sides and then what you're going to do is to tuck fold up like that so you've got that mirrored can you see that's exactly the same on that side and do exactly the same on this side you know the nice thing is this paper just folds beautifully it's a lovely weight to work with and um, I'm not even having to use my bone folder because sometimes if your paper is too stiff you will need to use your bone folder and I've been able to do this without a bone folder as you can see but it's still very sturdy enough the quality of the paper is absolutely amazing so if you didn't pick yours up if you check out the Hochanda website and look on the creative company I'm sure there's still some bundles left that you can pick up so we've got that looking like that and we've got that looking like that on that side and then when you open that side exactly the same and you open that side exactly the same right now we're going to fold this back and it will only fold back as far as where the paper meets there and then just line that up again with that line that you've got running down the centre and then turn that over and do exactly the same on that one and then we do a fold over and a fold back and do exactly the same on the other two as well so now your piece of paper is looking like this and this is the exciting bit where you just open the top very carefully pop your hand inside and there you can see your basket come into shape and it is quite sturdy actually you know the quality of the paper is doing that but it is also a sturdy basket but we're going to make it even more sturdy by gluing these down okay so I'm just going to use a hot glue gun for quickness on this okay so I'm just going in with a hot glue gun you could use a nice uh, wet glue wet glue is good as well but you've just got to be prepared to hold it for a bit okay so I'm just gonna do that again you know it's so satisfying doing this little project because uh, it looks fantastic it doesn't take any time at all and the nice thing is that you know it suits any occasion I've done them for Easter on the Ho-Chanda show for the creative inspirations company and of course it could quite easily be for Mother's Day you know you could fill it with um, little toiletries you could fill it with perfumes you know some you could put potpourri in there you could put little jams in there fudge anything you like so that's how it's looking 
So now we're going to attach the handle. Now get my handle up here. So pick which side you're going to attach it. And again, I'm just going to use some hot glue gun here for quickness. So I've got an instant grab to save me holding it in place. So that's my handle in situ. And then I'm going to bring in some of the um, crocheted trimming lace that I also had on the show. This was from the creative company as well. So you'll find it on the Hoshanda website if you have a look. And this is a great way to decorate your basket and finish it off. So what I'm going to do is just do a little line of glue. I'm going to start with the green. And I love this crocheted lace because it can be used for so many things and it just finishes off your basket from looking like a plain basket to a decorative basket. So if I look, put that to one side and then I bring in my decorative one, you can just see the difference that having that crocheted lace round does. It just add that finishing touch to your project and there's so much in the bundle I was really amazed at the cost of this um, I thought it was great value and it's something that you know I've used it on a few of the projects that I did on the show and something I'll be coming back to time and again because it is just so useful for card making for you know your decorating projects that you do around the house you know your home decor this type of thing it's one of those lovely bits of trim that you're going to use time and again and it quite easily can be used as well for dressmaking or your home furnishings that type of thing and then I'm going in with this pink one this one's a different um, different patterning different texture to the other one but I like the way it two layered up I've layered it up twice and put another bit more glue in my glue gum I like the way I've layered it up twice just to add a little bit more interest there and to make it look more luxurious and the thing is you know if we're going to make these to give away as gifts we want them to look luxurious don't we you know we want someone to look at that and say did you really make that is that handmade and you can say yes it is handmade I made it and that is something really satisfying but see how they match beautifully with the papers that I've used here um, that's why you know I selected them they just go and so nicely together so just pop that one on there you know hot glue gun does make it even quicker to do but if you're doing this with older children you could quite easily use wet glue they've just got to take a little bit of time to hold it in place while you do it which isn't a bad thing sometimes keep them busy so there we go and then I'm just going to snip that end off Ooh. that's it so that's using the green and the pink there you can see how nice that adds that nice finishing touch to the basket and then to really finish it off I'm using some of this organza ribbon but again, I had on the Hochanda show, so you'll find it on the website. It came, I think, in it came in a roll with ten colours. So again, matches the paper collection absolutely perfectly. So I'm just going to do a little bob of glue where the handles are, and I've gone ahead and I've made some little bows. So I've done this as a double bow. So I've used actually the two colours together so it's like a double bow very easy to do just use your two ribbons together and it makes the double bow if I pull this out there you go you can see the, the colours so let's stick one onto the other side it wants to be sticking to my hand instead so it just adds that little finishing touch on the handles there just makes it look really pretty doesn't it so that is your organza basket all finished and then if you remember on the show I packed mine with the little cellophane bags and I tied those up with the same colour organza ribbon and I used the little wooden embellishments on those 
so they fit lovely inside there for the children not too much chocolate but a nice little bit of chocolate they're ready so that is my origami basket there's lots of people out there that have made this so it's not my invention but it's just a beautiful basket ideal for Easter for your little Easter treats for the little people in your life or even the bigger people in your life and of course I made it in the two different colours this is the Oslo colour collection and then this one is the Scargan so I'm Dawn McPhee and uh, I hope you enjoyed the show on Hochanda TV and I'm going to be back with you very soon with some more things. I'm going to be back with you on Hochanda on the 15th of March and we're going to be doing some card making. So do tune in and join me. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>